so it's been a while since I have posted a regular video or stream. A lot of it has been because of my internet setup not working. I finally got a new modem, Time Warner's outage has stopped, but more importantly, my secondary connection, which was a Verizon DSL modem over here that I can no longer use because the building burned down and the wiring hasn't been fixed, has been replaced with a T-Mobile LTE T-Mobile LTE modem up there that attaches to this beautiful little PFSense router so that if I'm streaming and that craps out, it'll jump over to this, which is not as, you know, it's not as great because it has a very low bandwidth limit, I mean, a very low, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, quota. It's like 18 or 20 gigabytes a month, and I don't think T-Mobile offers more. But it is better than this because the wiring, that has a 20 gigabyte limit, whereas this connects to wiring that's on fire. So I'll take that as my backup. Uh, my phone system finally works. I actually spent 14 hours troubleshooting this after changing some settings when I thought that I was having a gateway or endpoint issue when it was actually Time Warner screwing up. I changed, I did something stupid, I made a new gateway, and I spent about 14 hours trying to figure out why I wasn't connecting. But I'm not kidding, I was putting a lowercase r where a capital R belongs. I just, that's 14 hours of my life I'm going to get back. But that's what, what I get for being an idiot. Let's go over some interesting upgrades here. So this is Steve's workstation. This is his bench. That is his phone that's always watching him. This is a PC3000 card in there. He does all of our drive data recovery stuff. This is a laminar flow bench right over here that he does a lot of work in. These are the drives that he's working on for customers. And we are going to be mounting a camera up there so that we can start doing videos from in there. So not, not I don't want to just have this channel be nothing but MacBook board repair over and over again. I think it would be really cool to feature him in some videos where we go over how to do hard drive recovery when you need to do a platter swap or there's stuck heads, maybe even talk about how you can tell if a drive fails, what drives fail gracefully versus what drives fail like crap. <coughs> and uh, we also got about, I think, uh, like some 8,000 bucks more worth of uh, stuff from uh, this, this company over here, Ace Labs or whatever, whatever company makes the PC3000 for SSD recovery. He has a hot swap bay. He, this, this is Steve who's going to be doing the data recovery. He's a madman. But down here, there's a $30 Core i3 processor with a $100 Corsair water cooler in there. Absolutely <laughs> fucking ridiculous. But, anyway. but so, this, so we're going to be mounting a camera up there, and then I'm going to be wiring it back to my space over here. I I'm really excited to get the drive recovery stuff. Uh, not exactly excited about the $5,000 bill and that other $3,000 thing, but such is life. We've got some upgrades for this. So this is my lens up here that I use for showing you the desk cam. It's the stock one on the A5100. I got this thing. It's a nice... So this lens only goes up to about 50 millimeter. This one goes up to 135 millimeter. So there's not going to be any more digital zoom when I want to show you something close. We've got this one put up there, which is really nice. Uh, I got some ring, a ring light for this one, and also another ring light to go inside of the inside of the one that's going to be going in Steve's workbench. Uh, I've got the power supply for that camera. I've got the cabling so that I can. This uh, is one of those I think fiber fancy HDMI things that's more better. Actually, no, that's an XLR cable. No, that's an HDMI cable. So that's going to be so that I can connect my computer over to Steve's camera. I got myself a better mic capsule for the secondary microphone so that we can have Steve doing data recovery while somebody asks questions or something like that. What else do we got? More cool stuff. I'm sure there's other things in here that I've... Uh, this is a speed sensor for Michael, for Michael Fang. And we've also... So this, this station is pretty cleaned up. Also, the other thing that I got is I, for this is the thread ripper that I got so that I would not have as many issues while trying to stream and record in high quality at the same time. You may see that I have this Enermax garbage cooler in there. A lot of people, I, I gave it a chance to see if the second generation of it was better than the first generation of it. It's trash. It's been in use for about three, four months, light usage, and it's already giving me 65 Celsius at idle and just absolute garbage. So that was also messing with me at the same time the internet was messing with me. So I got the water cooling setup, which is... Yeah, only yes. Which box is water? Ah, yes, yeah, so I got this thing from Performance PC, so that hopefully you stop hearing the fan go to 3,000 RPM while I'm streaming anymore, because I'm trying to record in really high quality while streaming really high quality at the same time. So I got this water block and some radiator and some other crap that I have to put together later, but I'm quite excited. Now that we have working internet, working camera equipment, working computer, we can finally get back to making some cool videos. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Very excited. Are you going to shit on Seagate?
Probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Seagate. It's interesting because there are some drives where the heads fail, but they stop. And I'm not explaining this perfectly. He knows much better since he opens them all the time and I don't. And then there are these specific Seagate drives that, well, there's more, a lot of them that are modern ones where when the heads die, they crash into the platter. And good luck getting your data off of that. Steve has a, I think Steve dislikes Seagate a little bit more than I dislike Apple, which is saying a lot. Also, this is high high. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video.